Hey guys, it's Woody's Gamertag, bringing you a game of Domination on Jungle. And uh, I've got a few gameplay things I want to talk about, but I also have a bunch of other topics I need to cover. So, let, got a nice long video, let's get going. So, first, uh, first things first, uh, the gameplay. Uh, this game has not been picked to make me look good. <laughs> yeah, I die a lot in this game. But uh, it, it was fairly competitive, and I think we're behind for a while, and, uh, and I thought it was interesting to watch, so that's why I picked it. So normally what I do off the start is I rush Bravo right away, but um, uh, there's like four guys on it, so I, I nade and I shoot. And uh, I'm using a Galil. You guys asked for, for more variety in guns. I haven't used a Galil in a long time, so, uh, so there it is. I could have rushed on B here, but no one's controlling B hut, and then you can see there's a guy up there. So, um, so I'm trying to take control of a B hut or top B, and make sure that uh, no one kills my team as they try and cap it. But uh, as you'll find out in just a second here, I fail. So, <laughs> what, what do I say? It's not a video designed to make me look good. Um, and now I'm gonna uh, work on trying to cap this Bravo flag and, and push up. So, uh, uh, oh, on to the other topics. So, uh, um. Oh, first things first. So I uploaded a vis video yesterday, and you guys hated it. Um, usually my like-dislike ratio, like I, if it's 100 to 1, I'm really happy. If it's, uh, you know, 50 to 1, that's kind of on the low end for me. This was 2 to 1. This was, like, really not well-received. And um, I think that, you know, part of the problem was that people misread my intentions. It, I thought it was an entertaining video. I, I thought that, you know, hearing this guy kind of give me a hard time was uh, was funny. And like, so Onslaught had been posting some Road to Commanders where like we all talked and stuff, and they were super well received. Guys loved them, and uh, um, you know, like in my own commentary, I like asked this guy if we could still be friends and stuff, and and guys thought it was funny. So I posted this one, and I had this line where like I, I guess he calls me a loser because I post videos on YouTube, and I'm like, you know, is this what you do? You you make fun of guys? You're playing video games on a Saturday night just like me. How can you call me a loser? It's like a guy going to a strip club and calling other people a pervert. And uh, I thought it was funny. I was the only one who thought that was funny. So um, uh, some people misread it as an attempt to get back at this guy. Watch this play. See the claymore? Throw the stun? Get the hit marker? Die. <laughs> Crap. So uh, um, anyway, my thought behind posting that video was not to attack this kid. It was to entertain my subs. That, that's, that's all I really do. I post... Um, the best videos I know how to make. And uh, sometimes I hit the mark, sometimes I miss the mark. I miss the mark. But because I'm told some people viewed it as some sort of call to action to give this guy a hard time, uh, I've taken the video down. Or actually, what, uh, I'm taking the video down. That, that's the deal. So um, uh, if you're watching this and you're wondering what video I'm talking about, uh, you can't see it. <laughs> All I can do is tell you that... Uh, um, oh, this, by the way... It's one of my favorite plays in the game. I'm, I'm capping this thing. I have to reload. I take it. I'll recover a little bit. Go, go, go. Teammates dropping all over the place. There's one guy prevent me from the cap. Got it. And then I die. <laughs> but um, but this, I think, was actually a pretty key. We're down by 22 points, maybe more as I was capping it. And um, or 21, I'm not sure. But uh, but we get B, and then we you know set up and start holding B uh, the best we can. So that it takes a lot of bullets to get a kill, doesn't it, Woody? But uh, <laughs> uh, we're working on, on holding Bravo here. So, uh, um, yeah, that video, I've taken it down because it wasn't interpreted the way that, that I, I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just a funny video with um, you know a snarky guy. But you guys viewed it as um, some call to action to uh, you know get back at this guy when really he wasn't meant to be getting back at. So uh, so yeah, that video is gone. I thought I'd let you guys know. Uh, it just it didn't go over like I expected it to. Would it, not every not every at bat is a home run. The other thing, so um, uh, fisticuffs. Fisticuffs had made a few videos um, about me. If you guys don't know fisticuffs, uh, I think he might have been. He's a YouTube veteran. He's been on there for a longer time than I have, and um, and he and I haven't really seen eye to eye uh, for quite some time now. And it was like, you know what? This is this is um, this isn't working out. So I called him, and I called him uh, via Skype. A lot of the YouTube guys are on Skype, so I thought maybe he would be too, and. Um, and we talked for an hour and a half, and uh, and it actually went really well. It went a whole lot better than I expected it to. So, uh, um, you know, it, it's our relationship isn't perfect, and and that's that's mostly on my side. I, I have this um, like maybe personal flaw where um, maybe I'm slow to forgive. I feel like if I forgive too quickly, that um, I'm somebody's victim. 
So, uh, but what we did do is we kind of buried the hatchet and uh, and, and you know, agreed to, to let this thing go, uh, like grown-ups do. You know, we worked out these problems. I called him, and um, and uh, you know, like I think that because he didn't know me and I didn't know him, then like we would uh, look at each other's uh, stuff with um, you know motives that that maybe weren't there and. Uh, so yeah, anyway, Fist and I, we resolved our differences, and uh, and that's, I just want to let you guys know, because uh, people are always curious about these YouTube drama thing, and uh, I think he's going to put up a video about it soon, and uh, and tell his side of it, which, since I'm being completely honest, I expect that uh, you'll find no variations in the story. So, uh, so yeah, uh, that is the thing with fistic Fisticuffs, and we've worked out uh, the differences that we had. So, enough about the YouTube drama. Let's get on to the gameplay. And uh, I fear that I have like uh, 10,000 people. Oh, oh, there's one thing I want to talk before the gameplay. So one of my most requested videos is uh, how to make the tally emblem I have on my gun. And um, uh, I'm going to put up a video on Saturday that, that shows you guys how. Now, I should tell you in advance, I didn't invent the tally emblem. Uh, the truth is I'm really not as artistically talented as I wish I was. And I'm like Photoshop tarted and... and you know all this funny stuff, but um, uh, I, what I, I was—they were making fun of my original emblem, which was like a skull and not much else. And all my friends said it was—it was terrible. So uh, I went online and started doing Google research, which is something I am actually good at. And I found this uh, this tally emblem, and I replicated the guy's work and put it on my gun. Now people kind of associate the tally emblem with me because I have uh, you know a lot of views in my YouTube videos. But it's not really mine. I have no right to it. And if you guys want to watch the tally video this weekend and copy it, then uh, knock yourself out. <laughs> it's not my emblem. It's uh, It'll be your emblem if you want to rock it. I have uh, no claim on it. So, uh, so yeah, I just... Uh, I only bring that up because uh, so many people have asked about it, and uh, I try to save my best videos for the weekends, and I think that this one might be the one that people like. So, so that's that. So now talking about the gameplay. So, oh, oh, there's something I always preach right there, that uh, in Black Ops you can evade, and, and there's an example of evading successfully. It doesn't work for me every time, guys. You're like, no, 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 you can't evade. No, you really can. You really can. Not every time, of course. You know, it's not Halo, but um, it's somewhere in between Modern Warfare 2 and Halo, where if you're careful, you can get out. And that, the call out for that top spot there is Pride Rock, by the way, and it's the counter to that rock that I was behind getting all those Bravo kills. So, yeah. Um... Onto the gameplay. So I'm trying to own B-Hut here, because B-Hut is the most critical spot. You need B-Hut to, uh, you know, to win this game on domination. And it might look like I'm you know, not capping B when I should, but what I'm really trying to do is keep the, uh, the flag capper alive. Um, <laughs> I, jumping on a flag is, I guess, a brave thing to do, if you can call any action in a video game brave. But um, standing in the middle of the bridge and killing people as they come from river is not how you, you know, build kill streaks and uh, you know play defensively. That was me trying to keep a capper alive, and uh, and it worked out. Keep a capper alive. Yeah, I get that. So uh, um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I'm here in the hot spot, and, and this is what I typically do. And sometimes a game like this, I, I don't have a ton of flag caps. But if you look at the defends, you'll see that every one of my kills was, uh, not everyone, but a lot of my kills were, were critical kills. A lot of them were on Bravo, or you know, almost everyone, I, I think, was you know, flag motivated. And uh, um, I just have this notion that like not all kills are created equal. It, you can run around the edges of the map and get your kills there, especially if you have a ghost silencer class. Then uh, you know, spending time at the edges of the map, catching people on their flanks, is, uh, is a nice way to get kills. Now, like if you go to a spot where I am just like there, you're gonna die, right? You're gonna have a hard time getting an 11 kill streak from B Hut. It happens, but you know you're better off running around stealthy, catching people from the side and the back, than you are standing in the hottest spots in the map, trying to uh, to draw that line. You know that that you know to quote Lord of the Rings that thou shall not pass. This is map. This much map is mine, and you cannot have it. And uh, that's what. That's typically how I play Domination. Right here, I'm trying to get on the guy's radar just by pop firing so that he doesn't know about Bash, but it, it totally fails. <laughs> he, he kills Bash, he flashes me, I, I run away uh, like a scared kid. I try to outsmart him with that Claymore, but, uh, and I spend like a, a whole clip trying to get a kill here, or maybe then some, but I hold Bravo and fail. So, 
Uh, so yeah, this was me. Uh, it wasn't a ton of caps, but it was me watching Bravo all game long, and I, I felt like I had a pretty hard to get Bravo cap, and that uh, that helped win the game. So I, I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you uh, you know like the update on all the fun YouTube drama stuff. So uh, um, yeah, worked it out with the guys that that didn't like my stuff, and um, you know who knows, maybe a couple months down the road when uh, the wounds are healed over, uh, we'll start working together. You know, we'll see.